Wow, 12 million total winners. After the RY4, you are still a giant Huawei with $3 million. Now let's imagine you are one of the winners who get $3 million at the age of 55. As the winner, what are you feeling now? Feeling out of this world? Super happy? Or are you upset? So I don't understand why someone who is very educated like Mr. Lu from YN65 is very upset about the SA closure. After three days of anguish and pain, bloody hell, they shut down my SA account, you know? But never mind, you know? I just figure out a way, I'm gonna fill up uh, my RA uh, all the way up to the max I can on uh, 55 so on. Uh, and then every month at 70 years so I'm gonna extract $4,600 from you. Uh. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave uh, every month uh, extracting $4,600. I'm gonna make sure I stay healthy, I exercise healthy, I eat healthy. All the way, I live only 100 years old. I accept 1.6 million dollars from you. Okay, I'll give you max 400 over thousand dollars, but I'll accept 1.6 million dollars from you. That's what I'll do. In this video, I want to share what I will do if I were him. In order to plan out what he can do, I need to know his numbers by filling up his savvy access worksheet. This is how the savvy access worksheet looks like. This spreadsheet is to know how hot you are. La. So I'll put the link at the comment section below. Now let's do step by step. First of all, let's talk about his age. Okay, in this video, he said reflections on his 51 birthday five months ago, means he is 52 years old. And his wife, based on this article, he said that in 2018, he and his wife are 45 years old, means they are the same age, 52. As for his income, I remember he did some online selling of luxury bags, so his income should be okay. But in this case, I just put question mark lah, huh? The next step, the value of his HDB flat. And in this video, I found out- You'll go to $1.1 million, uh, probably, because the single story executive is already at 1.02 or something like that. So maybe I'll hit $1.1 million. Uh. Yeah, very rich. Uh. Yeah, now current property value is around 1.1 million and since he's 52 years old the only way to take out all his money from his sa is three years later which is at 55 years old so i guess the valuation of his flat in three years time maybe around 1.25 to 1.3 million let's put the higher amount because i also hope that mr lu and his family will enjoy this high value hdb flat for outstanding loan I found from this video. I myself have, you know, some housing loan, not a lot, now. maybe about hundred over thousand dollars left. For conservatives, just put hundred and fifty thousand. Most of people actually use their CPF to service their money installment and also a down payment for the HDB. I bought it at I don't know seven hundred plus thousand. Okay. He bought his HDB mentioned it about seven hundred over thousand. I guess it's about ten to twelve years ago. I guess he and his wife CPF use plus a good interest should be around three hundred thousand each means he will get 550 cash proceeds after he sell. This is just an estimation now. And now let's check out how much CPF he has at this moment. In his recent video, he actually shared that he has. Everyone in Singapore says that investing in property is the best Ayo, way to build this. generational wealth. So if you sum all of this up, okay, sum all of this up, uh, it comes to about 1.825 million. He is indeed a super Huawei, but sadly is CPF millionaire. It's quite sad because I cannot buy a property with this money, not even a bubble tea. Bubble tea. He and his wife combined got 1.825 million in total. I just put it 900k each lah to make it 1.8 million for easy calculation. For savings, he sure got a lot of money because recently he just fully paid, fully paid a landed property. In fact, I made offer already, 1.45 and the seller was like, I want 1.42, you know that kind of thing. Sorry, I want 1.42, you yeah, 1.45, yeah, fish market, like, really, yeah, 5 cents, 10 cents, negotiate, and then mine, then. And later, I think, think, think the difference between 1.75, 1 1.9, or 1.95 is only about 200,000 ringgit divided by 3.34 is only about 60,000 sing. Eh. What the hell can 60,000 sing buy you? Eh? Not even a toilet in Singapore. 60,000 sing can buy me a incredibly much bigger house, much bigger. I don't know the actual price of the lender property he bought. I guess 1.9 million ringgit, which was about 500,000 sing dollars. For his case, he don't believe on leveraging. I believe he paid this property full cash. He also shared his experience on buying this lender property. I've seen like 20, 30 houses a lot. Wow, if he used this effort to buy Singapore property, uh, he is definitely a giant, giant Huawei now. I don't know how much savings he has, but just put a uh, average amount like let's say two hundred thousand. 
For stocks, not sure, zero. He has a total assets of 3.15 million. He is just like one of the total winner. So it's not a very difficult choice, what? So now, what I will do if I were him? I thought of three options. The first option, since right now he has 1.8 million, three years later, even after basic retirement sum or full retirement sum, he should have more money. Let's say he can only take out the current amount, 1.8 million in cash. Since he likes his HDB so much, he can keep his HDB. I will buy second property worth 1 million. So what can you buy 1 million today? Let me show you. With the most recent data, this is a 2 bed 2 bath 1 million, 2 bed 2 bath 1 million. I chosen this property because it's less than 5 minutes walk away from MRT and shopping mall. He also have an objective to get $4,000 payout from his CPF. And now let's look at the rental. 4,000, 4,000. Achieve already, ah. Wait, 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 wait. I need to add this part. When you buy a property, you buy only for rental only, man. If you buy property for rental, you don't buy, la. Must always focus on appreciation also, ma. That's the reason why you buy property. For this $1 million property, how much is the potential that you can make in the next three years? So the very simple way to know is to check what is the price three years ago. In 2021, it's only 765000 810000 750000 which is about 250,000 in three years. In my recent two days program, I tell everyone, if you really want to be a giant huakui, try to aim 100,000 appreciation every year for one property. So if you have two properties, means about 200,000 appreciation every year. And because this size is not a three beta, at 250,000 for three years is considered very good, which is about 70 to 80,000 per year. And since his second property, he will be paying ABSD on it. So for $1 million purchase with the ABSD, he will be paying $1.2 million for this property. And since he got $1.8 million, he will left with $600,000 cash. He can be a baller, man. Option two, to avoid ABSD. And since he don't want to sell his flat, the only way is to buy this $1 million property under his kid's name and fully pay at $1 million and still achieve $4,000 rental. So with $1.8 million minus $1 million purchase, he still has $800,000. Wow, you can retire in style, man. Wow, I rewatch again and I really want to add this in. And since for option one, inclusive of ABSD on a $1 million property, you already paid $1.2 million. So let's say you up your budget we buy a $1.2 million property under our kid's name. So without paying ABSD, it's still $1.2 million. At $1.2 million, let me show you what you can buy today. This is another project with the recent transactions. With about $1.2 million, you can buy a 3 beta, $1.23 million, $1.22 million, $1.175 million. If you are observer, you can see that the price is really climbing up. Ah. And again, to remind you, we buy property not because of rental. We buy because of appreciation. And let me show you how much you can make in this property for the next three years by showing you what is the performance three years ago. It's only less than a million, 975,000, 980,000, 975,000. For this super compact three beta, you make about 250,000 in three years. If you want to make at least 100 or more per year, easy la, buy the bigger units. Oh. Actually, these two options are not the best option. The third option is my advice which you need more guts. La. I will sell his HDB at 1.3 million, take out all his CPF monies. He will have 3.15 million cash. And after he sell, husband and wife is out of the flat. So each of them can actually own one each to avoid ABSD. I will take 1.5 million out from his 3.15 million to buy a three bedroom and fully pay it. And then I'll buy another property, $1 million under his wife's name to avoid ABSD and collect $4,000 rental every month. That means in these two properties, I have utilized 2.5 million, which means he still have 650,000 cash. So what can he do? If he still love to get money out from his CPF SA, he can either put it in, I don't know whether you can do that, or he can take this money and buy a bigger GCB in JB again. So actually with this amount of money, he can actually do a lot of things. If you are very interested to know what you can do with your portfolio, you can do out the survey assets worksheet and you can send to my company's number. And you'll be very surprised by what I can plan out for your portfolio. And if you like my plan for you, you can consider to come for my one-to-one -one consultation program. I will put all these links under the description of this video. And I hope that this video is useful for those people who are affected by the CPF closure. And I hope that you can use your money wisely and buy the right property. I'll see you in the next video.